Hey, this is Steve Chase here. Today we're going to talk about QuickBooks Online recurring transactions. And what this is using QuickBooks Online, you can have automatically pay, uh, receive payments from your customers at certain frequencies. So a, a typical one might be every month you would have an agreement where QuickBooks will authorize payment from your customer. Uh, pretty cool, right? And it does this basically while we're sleeping. It hits around 2 a.m. Pacific time at the future date that you um, set and authorize. So I'll be sharing with you how to do that in QuickBooks Online. Uh, we'll want to make sure for compliance reasons, compliance, we have the customer's credit card authorization form filled out that they've given us permission to do that or their ACH bank transferation authorization signed and completed. And as you do this, QuickBooks will give you some uh, templates that you can use so they can sign those authorization payment forms for you. And lastly, I'll share with you how to create a recurring template list report and actually how to customize it so we can have a window into the future. And this will be a great tool to recognizing future cash flow coming into the business, seeing the amounts that will be hitting your business, what the next date will be, and um, also keep tabs on credit card um, expiration dates in case you would need to, um, is a customer's credit card expiration date is coming up due, you'd have the ability to see that ahead of time so you could re-plug in the correct credit card information. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to share with you, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to set up your products and services if you haven't already done that. And you would do that by going to the sales tab, products and services, okay? You'll recognize your different products and services that you have. If you don't have them, you would select new and specify the type. And just making a point that um, you have the ability to link um, an item Let's say you're doing design work. You, you want to link the income account to that chart of accounts revenue site so there that you'd have that. You want to make sure for reporting purposes. I mean, it could be all sales, but better if you have a little bit more clear revenue side. You know, where is it coming from? So, close out of here. You've already done that and you're curious what do all these products map to on your profit and loss? Just simply click the little tiny gear, select income account, and that will show you the correspondence. So I've got a design service and it's linked to the design income. That means when we run the profit and loss report, we will have these income accounts populated in the profit and loss. Our customer sees the actual labels that we've provided here in the actual product or service name yeah. okay um, it's important to realize that if you have simple start um, we will not have this feature that I'm going to share with you next okay you need to have the essentials uh, plan or plus or advanced okay I'm gonna select the gear to get started and I'll have the ability to select recurring transactions when I click on the recurring transactions, I'll see all the ones that are currently active or inactive by being, you can pause one. Over to the, to the right, for example, you have the ability to uh, delete, duplicate, or use here. Okay. And um, you'll see that I have more choices when I have the sales receipt, which is pause and skip date. Let's begin by setting up a $500 uh, design charge for our customer that will hit every month. First, I click new. For the transaction types, there's all sorts of types that you can have recurring. So money coming into the business would be a sales receipt. Now, I wanna make, a, make a, a point that an invoice is okay to set up recurring, but that's just going to email it out to the customer and the customer would need to provide their payment through the QuickBooks payments. When we're trying to recognize payment at the same time, we don't want to do an invoice, we want to do a sales receipt which recognizes revenue earned on the spot as the, as the sales receipt goes out. It's a, it's a form that recognizes payment and um, the actual sale at the time on the spot. So I'm selecting sales receipt, 
and I click OK and that's going to open up a form for me to fill out. So the first thing I do is I'll select the customer. Let's go with uh, cool cars. Okay, that automatically changes the template name to the customer name, but you can modify that. And I'm just going to walk through here. We have scheduled, reminder, or unscheduled. So we'll want to do scheduled. The create days in advance simply means that it would set that up in advance. That's based on this frequency here. So if you're doing something every month, probably don't need to do that. Okay, here's the email. We have the ability to automatically send emails as it goes out. Again, it's gonna come in like 2 a.m. in the morning, Pacific time, when these will hit, depending on the system. Our intervals include daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Okay. And you'll, you wanna do quarterly, you would have to skip it every three months. So we'll do the math here. Let's imagine that we have it build out the first day of every month. So I would then come in here, select the start date. I'm gonna go with March 1st. And then depending on the engagement with our customer, we could have it say last you know, six times. So that, that would be how to run it for six times. And it would just, this is gonna be um, until you wanna cancel it yourself, then you could say, we're gonna let it end. It's gonna go forever until we come in here and delete it. dollar design fee that goes out on the first of every month to cool car so we we fill out the payment information down below design okay 500 not taxed okay you can have a message displayed on the statement and all that um, now as far as payment goes you would select the drop down and choose credit card and at that particular point, after you select credit card, you'll have the ability to have a pop-up that will, you'll enter the, the account credit card type and the um, expiration date in the, the CBS, is, yeah, I think the three cards on the back of, back of the card, you'll fill that all out there. I'm in a test account demo, so I, I'm not gonna be able to share that with you, uh, but just trust that after you select credit card, that will pop up. Um, the other thing that you can do, and there will be fees associated with that, uh, some around 2.9%. Now, there are, and you'll have to check the rate, latest rates from QuickBooks payments as far as what those, those fees represent. It, it, somewhere around the 3%, depending on how you're setting it up and which plan of QuickBooks payments you're on. But that's, that's another conversation to have with QuickBooks merchant account services on your plan, plan, plans that you pick. You can also do a bank transfer, and a bank transfer has zero fees as of today. There's no fees for that, and it takes a little bit longer, uh, about a week, to get the funds where a credit card comes in typically one or two business days later. Um, but the benefit is with a bank transfer, you would just need their routing number and account number, um, and that will trigger the payment with no fees. So that's a great way as well to draft their, their bank account. And again, go back to get the authorization to do that, which uh, QuickBooks will populate a template on the fly as you do that. Or there's a voice script where if you're on a telephone, you can read the voice script to your customer and they can authorize it orally on the telephone as well. Okay, once you have everything in place, double check, then you'll save and close, save the template. And what you'll do then is you can see the recurring list here. You can see you know, the different dates that are coming up and what type it is here. All right. Um, we also have the ability to run a report that can customize it and get a little bit more details as far as you know, what's the expiration date on the credit card and so forth. So to do that, we would go to the reports and we would search recurring template list. And we would have the ability to um, get a report like this. Now you do have the ability to modify this report. And I'm gonna show you the one that I've already done. You can see, um, if we particularly focus on the sales receipts here, you can see the payment methods and the credit card expiration date. 
when that's in place. That's important. You need to have those in place to see that so you can keep your eyes on that. But this is really powerful because it's going to keep track of your next dates here and your previous dates once it's gone through the cycle there. You can start to see kind of the cash flow coming in from a glance. And these reports can definitely be exported out to Excel to do further reporting on them. So how do you get these uh, payment methods and the credit card expiration date columns in there? You'll have to add it by selecting customize. You'll go to rows columns, change columns, and you'll want to just check off credit card expires, payment method, and these fields here that you have the ability to. In addition, you also could add any of the other fields that you see that might be relevant to your, to your settings and so forth. Awesome. So once again, if you would like to create customer payments automatically, you can set up recurring sales receipts by entering in customer, the amount to debit their account, uh, the bank, uh, draft or, or credit cards uh, information. Then run the report to show recurring templates list. Now all of this, you do need to have a QuickBooks payments account. And you can set one of those up by going to the gear icon, account settings, and applying for the QuickBooks payments merchant account. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to connect with me at my email, which is stevechase at sequentialsolutions.com. Or head over to my website, sequentialsolutions.com, to see my blog, which has lots of QBO training videos that you can watch. Thanks for watching.